MSRA A to Z. Z is for Z score. So first of all, if you've been following this whole series, I'd like to say thank you and I hope that you found it helpful. Last one. So Z score is a statistical concept. It looks at a variable and how it compares to the mean of a group of variables. When you take the MSRA, you've got your two papers, your clinical and your SJT. Now your raw score is converted into what's called a normalized or standardized score using the concept of Z scores, i.e. it's not just what your absolute score is as a percentage. It's how do you score compared to the mean of all of the people in your cohort. Whatever the mean score is for everyone in your cohort, that will always be turned into a normalized or standardized score of 250. If you perform better than the mean, you'll get a score higher than 250. If you score lower than the mean, you'll get a score lower than 250. This is why it's important that as it's becoming more competitive and people are starting to prepare earlier, prepare better, more effectively, that even if someone actually got a raw score better this year than last year, they still might get a normalized or standardized score lower if other people in their cohort have had much better performance. So as it gets more competitive, it's important that you start preparing early, you work hard, because it's not just about how you score, it's about how you score compared to everyone else in your cohort. Okay, so Z is for Z score. Now, I hope you found this series helpful. Um, if you've got other things that you think you'd like to see videos on, please do let me know in the comments because I'll be starting the next A to Z series focusing on MRCGP, but I haven't decided what to do after I finish that one. So do let me know. And if you've got any questions about MSRA, if you want support, if you want help, if you want to get more information about our resources and courses to help doctors get the absolute best MSRA score possible, drop me a comment, drop me a message, um, get in touch via the website emedica.co.uk. Thank you so much and all the best with getting into specialty training.